Hi there, my lovely Virgos. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whenever you're finding my channel. Um, you are very, very welcome here. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. It helps me tune in with your energy as well. So if you're new here, um, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me link up with you so that when I do your weekly reading, um, I can get sort of a better gauge on your energy um as always this is a general love read it's not going to resonate for everyone um and um let's see what we got for you so um virgo's in love please what does virgo need to know in love please oh okay yeah they want me to stop there <laughs> If anyone's ever curious how I know when to stop, it's because I literally stop my hand from moving. <laughs> so sometimes I'll be there for ages, shuffling. That looks weird. Um, but um, then, then, then I'll just kind of stop my arm. I'll stop my hand from moving. Right. Okay, so if you're a cross-watcher, Please reverse the roles. Um, and guys, don't forget to check out your other birth chart placements for more clarity. Um, let's see what we've got. Oh my gosh. Hmm. I feel like um, you do have here. I mean, I don't know why I need to start here because I wanted, I was really drawn to the middle there. But I feel like you could have manifested a situation um, in. You could have manifested a person back in here because you've got Three of Cups energy. Now, this is really interesting because they always say to people, when you're manifesting um, a person or if you're doing any kind of love spells um, or something like that, you're calling that person towards you. But it's not coming from inside of them. It's not coming from their soul. So they feel this great big pull to come towards you. But then they don't really know what they're doing there. So, um, and I kind of feel like that's what's happened here. Because you've got the Five of Cups. It's like, they've come and you've had this reuniting. This coming back together. And then disappointment, disillusionment. It hasn't gone the right way. The way that you thought it was going to go. It's kind of gone wrong here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So this this is why, you know, I feel like when, when you're trying to manifest something, I try to tell people to steer clear of um, doing it on a specific person. Um, because what you end up doing is you're going against the flow of the universe. Okay. You're going against what is um, kind of... Uh, laid out for you in terms of your pathway and their pathway so when you do manifesting on a specific person you're interfering with that with their progress and with your progress so what will happen is the universe will very quickly undo whatever you have tried to put together or it's not going to be as satisfactory you're always going to be left wondering because ultimately they're in your mind you're thinking is this person here because they want to be or are they here because i have manifested them towards me now if you're doing general manifesting like you know i i want to find my true love that's very different okay um because it's more general um but when you're you're saying like oh i i really want gym to come in or, or something that i want you know this person this specific person to come back uh sorry gym was the first name i could think of um you know when you want that specific person to come back in it's going to be very short-lived um because they don't really know why they've come back in they feel like they need to because that's what the manifesting is all about and then when they're there they suddenly go oh well um you could have conflicts, you could have, uh, you know, just feeling a little bit like things aren't the same, something's different, something's changed. Mm. You do have, you see, I'm going to clarify this one because you've got the Ten of Wands here in terms of love. So what is the Ten of Wands for Virgo, please? What is the Ten of Wands for Virgo, please? Okay. Oh my gosh, look. 
Hierophant, spiritual learning, long term. You could be dealing with somebody um, that you have been with long term. Um, could be on and off here as well. But you've also got justice, you see. So you've got two cards that are pointing at marriage. So this could be someone that you're married to or that you live with. Um, but there's, there's, it's causing this kind of overload. I feel like maybe either there's... There's a lot of attention, a lot of effort going into that situation, or there's there's not been enough, and now it's like too much um, to kind of put right. I feel like for a lot of you, though, it feels like you have been carrying the weight of disconnection. Um, so you're the one that's been putting in a lot of effort. You're the one that seems to be playing nice all the time. You know, I feel like normally you would kind of let things go, be but easy going here but i feel recently here you may have started to feel a shift here in terms of that dynamic and um wanting to you know express yourself a bit more um and whenever you change a dynamic in a relationship you know one person wants to change the other person they they can't cope with it they don't like it because everything was fine <laughs> so why would you need to change it um Mm, but yeah, there's some, there's, you know, what's going on here around you this week, it's out of balance. You are getting, I think, some karmic justice coming your way here, you know, and that's, that's going to be good or bad, so take that as it resonates. Sorry, as I'm saying that, someone shouted toaster, toaster, oh my gosh, I mean, see, this is the thing with, um, uh, negative energies, is that sometimes you find electrical appliances break down unexpectedly look just clarify the justice with judgment oh my gosh it's a card of second chances as well they're both like apologies second chances somebody's owed an apology here oh my gosh you've also got page of wands over here this is this came out with the ten of wands so it could be you know what's on your mind here what is it you're not saying this is communication so definitely you know, being able to communicate your thoughts here, that's going to really ease your load here. That's going to ease your burden. So even if you're just kind of um, venting to a friend about things that are not going so well, you don't have to, you don't have to be perfect all the time, okay? Things are allowed to, um, you know, get too much. You are allowed to <laughs> offload, essentially. You are absolutely 100% is good for you. Um yeah, so you've got here, like, second opportunity, second chances. Who wants the second chance, please? Who wants the second chance, please? Yeah, look, this is in love, okay? We've got um, Knight of Cups. This is falling in love. Somebody has fallen in love here. Mm. Okay, clarify the justice, please. Can I find the justice for Virgo, please? I feel like you've got quite a complicated reading here because I feel like we've got two different storylines. Um, or, you know, you could be dealing with two people. Um, <laughs> take it as it resonates. Yeah, look, nine of wands. Look, this is... Now, usually that is the wounded warrior, but in this deck, it's all about seeing... Um, like you know having the the truth revealed to you so you could have had some sort of revelation about your person um you know it's quite a spiritual energy here it's kind of a magical energy so you could have had some uh revelation some spiritual truth about your person about your life pathway i feel like it's going bigger than this i feel like your love life at the moment seems to be tied up with your life pathway so it sounds quite grand um but I feel like, you know, we're talking about, we could be talking about multiple soulmates here. Because I feel like some of you are dealing with more than one person. Yeah, look, High Priestess. So we've got the Hierophant and we've got the counterpart here, the High Priestess. So, I mean, this is someone who is very spiritual. They are spiritually tuned, spiritually aware. It's a secretive energy. So yeah, absolutely. This could be, you know... Some of you could be married and you could be dealing with somebody outside of the marriage. Um, that's why it's a secret. Or your person, if you're married, your person could be dealing with somebody 
outside of the marriage that's very secretive oh my gosh yeah i just feel like i need to ask that what is virgo's person hiding please what is virgo's person hiding please change big change they want to have something different they want to end something queen of coins yeah the queen of coins you see she's a very i do like the queen of coins um she's someone that is used to loss she's used to heartbreak she's not afraid to be on her own but she knows she knows what it's like to be on her own and everything that she's achieved in her life she's done it um through grits and hard work um she's done it by herself um so she doesn't feel the need to rely on anybody but what she does want is companionship okay so it could be right here, you know, I, I'm, as I'm holding this and I'm flipping these around, I'm hearing the word giving. So this could be someone that is just tired of giving, you know, and we said that with that turn of wands, that, you know, somebody here is giving um, an awful lot here to keep this connection going. And they're not getting a whole lot back. So something's got to give here, something's got to break. So there's got to be a big change here. Um, there's got to be balance restored otherwise i feel like somebody is about to maybe have a breakdown or they're about to just walk away um mm, i do feel like we've got a couple of different storylines going on here i tell you because we've got the ace of cups here there's a brand new love or new opportunity in love coming in for you clarify this ace of cups for virgo please clarify this ace of cups for virgo oh my gosh no look so you don't want to know you don't want to know this. You don't want to. You don't want to see this new love. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, definitely. Some of you, you could be married here, and you've got a new chance. You've got a new opportunity in love. Um, you've had to make a choice here with this two of swords. Um, you feel like, you know, you have been fighting against this. I feel like you have been fighting against this connection. Maybe you, you know, you feel like it's wrong. The Hierophant is someone who's very traditional as well. So, you know, um, <coughs> someone who believes in traditional values or they've been raised a certain way. Um, they, they, you know, so they believe in the sanctity of marriage. Um, and I feel like this could go against your better judgment. You know, all of this here, because you don't want to know. You really, you, you just not interested um in any of this um okay let's look at the full card here for virgos gosh i can feel my ear tingling my ear is really burning wow so i i get the sense here your person they could be talking about you they could be trying to work out what to do or you know they could be um oh yeah they could be talking with friends about you um Mm. Oh my gosh, this person could be at a distance from you. This person, you know, they want to have a new beginning with you. They want to have a new opportunity, a brand new beginning with you. Like, they're ready to take the leap of faith here into the unknown, you know, quite literally. Um, but I feel like, you know, you're not going to take it. Yeah, look at this. You felt out of control here in the situation. You're now getting some sense of control back um, this week um you know feeling as though yeah like you do have everything in hand like you're you're becoming very logical about this situation about this person clarify the knight of swords for virgo please oh okay well I'll take a quick look at your person as well yeah you're controlling your emotions getting that emotional clarity that emotional control back um this week okay so let's look at how your person or persons <laughs> are seeing you right now oh my gosh virgos you certainly know how to do it <laughs> oh bless you right okay bless bless sending you guys lots of healing love abundance all of that good stuff prosperity peace harmony oh let's see let's see how's virgo's person feeling about them please how's virgo's person feeling about them please Okay. 
okay clarify this nine of pentacles please like because this person this is all about contentment and peace of mind so <laughs> they can feel like this is what you bring to the table this is what you offer them clarify this nine of pentacles for virgo's person how virgo's person is feeling about them please okay look the lovers yeah they feel like you're soulmates look at that they feel like you are soulmates could be past life connection here with this person um you know um yeah definitely wow hmm they've also they've got seven of cups so they think about you a lot they, they're, they're still thinking about you um they're wishing for you um you know this is someone that you know has has a lot of time in their head for you okay so um yeah like five of swords they feel like they've lost though yeah they feel like they have lost and this is where you have the upper hand here this is where you have that knight of swords at the end like you're getting control of your emotions so you could have out uh, you know, you could have said something to this person which has um, made them feel like this because they're, they're kind of packing things up and they're walking away. But you see, see, it could definitely be third party here because there's two people in the background and, you know, your person here, they're picking up the swords and walking away. They're walking away from this, this two-person situation. So, yeah, it could be that there was three of you here involved and this other person is now walking away we've also got devil so yeah i mean oh devil's not all bad okay so it, it's someone that um you know can be obsessive they could have some you know patterns of behavior it's also you know just looking down at the card there it does say jealousy on the card um you know, this is someone that, you know, they could be throwing themselves into something else at the moment to distract them from how they're feeling. Um, you know, uh, whether that be drinking, smoking, um, something like that. Yeah, like this person, I mean there's deception here with this moon card so they could feel like you have deceived them they could just feel like this is a temporary delay here but they are definitely they've got their emotions they're feeling all of their emotions and you're trying to control your emotions so it's a big contrast here with the two of you big big contrast i mean the devil as well it is desire it's passion um it's those energies that you know historically we we're told are bad energies or dark energies um because they can lead to trouble um but you know when you when you're feeling unhappy you know when your emotions are too overwhelming and you feel like you know you, you have to walk away you, you know you don't have to, you you got to take time for yourself you can't just walk away um smiling and say oh well you know that's okay whatever i feel like you know this is someone that you know they they need to obviously go and heal here uh yeah clarify the moon here for virgo's person how they're feeling about virgo please yeah the chariots they they still want to overcome this they want to be able to work on this uh yeah it's talking about resolving issues or problems here with this Oh my gosh. So I feel like you've got quite an intense energy, quite a lot going on here. Um, I do feel like, yeah, we've got like two different people on the board that you're dealing with. So you could have, you know, somebody that's long term here, somebody that's fairly new, but they've both got a, a kind of a soulmate energy or an, amount, an energy here of longevity with you. Um, it's definitely past life energy here as well. Mm. Okay, my Virgos, I'm sending you lots of lovely healing light and energy. Um, 
Thank you for subscribing and watching till the end. Take care and I will see you guys next time.